Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and this is Vigorelli Institute. Now, uh, I've got a special treat for you today. I actually had a viewer request that I do their uh, Chinese astrology chart for them for a video. So I've got the chart pulled up right here on this computer. Not this one, this one makes way too much noise. So um, I'm going to be kind of jumping back and forth here. Uh, let's begin, shall we? Okay. Uh, by the way, um, I'm not going to be divulging the name of this person uh, because I said so. Okay, uh, they were born June, uh, June 9 of 1994 at 2.11 a.m. Okay, that puts them, uh, let's see here, uh, wood dog for the year, metal horse for the month, a fire tiger for the day, cool, and an earth ox for the hour. Now, I've already got a few things that come up just right on top here. I haven't even looked at major combinations yet. Um, I can tell you right now, this person uh, has got a decent amount of charisma. Uh, that's because of the horse, okay? Horse is one of the four cardinal animals. Uh, I did a video on that. It's called the Four Sexy Ones. Uh, horse is cardinal south, okay? So uh, they just got some natural charisma about them. Rats, uh, roosters, and um, rabbits have the exact same thing. But they have it in different ways. Um, just think, you know, ooh, pretty horse. Okay. Uh, person's a metal horse, so they're going to be pretty, uh, pretty tough in that regard. One of the things that's really going to win you over is arguably their work ethic. Like, this person is probably never-say-die type, okay? It's not going to be as strong if it, were, if it were in, like, the day or the year, but month is pretty woofy there, okay? Uh, also very, very loyal, given that they are a dog. They like to go out and do stuff. And uh, same thing for Tiger, um, although you don't want to make this guy angry. Oh, boy. Not only that, um, if he at least thinks he's right, he's right. And that's because of the ox. Uh, also, given that it's an earth ox, so that's the ox's natural element. Uh, they're always right. Very, very um, tenacious, very stubborn person. And if you try to convince them they are wrong then that tiger's going to come out and, well, you're going to wish you hadn't done that. Okay? All right, let's take a look here. So, uh, we've got dog, horse, and tiger combining to form the Trinity of Fire. Doesn't that sound cool? Well, um, looking at the way their elements are set up, they've already got a ton in fire. It's about 28%. That's going to be their uh, base element. That's where they are born from. So with the trinity of fire being on that, that fire is going to be that much more accented, okay? And it will come out either at the most important times or the least opportune. Just kind of the way that happens when it's created within the chart itself, okay? Now, dog and ox come together and form what's called conflict. Uh, like I said before, you don't want to get on this person's bad side you're going to be in for a fight, okay? The thing is, dog and ox also create what's called the three shaw, which is just horrendous bad luck. It just seems to follow you. It's like a puppy that never stops eating. You. It's kind of annoying, actually. I've got it in my chart. Well, um, so we tend to wander into adverse situations, make it for a fantastic movie character, I'll tell you that much. Uh, as long as you get the plot right, you know. Uh, could work for something on the lines of, say, Angel, if you remember that one. It's on, uh, it's on Prime right now. Highly recommend it. Okay. Okay. Um, now, what it all boils down, uh, this person is what is called a weak fire person. That means when things happen to them, they happen rather profoundly, whether they are good or bad. 
Uh, I would actually be surprised if this person was even capable of adopting like a stoic uh, philosophical bend, or if they were capable of, you know, don't worry about it, I got this. Um, a lot of things will become crises. Uh, if they were to like win the lottery, uh, they'd be celebrating for days on end. Uh, just kind of the way it is with the weak types. The strong types, exact opposite. Um, when things happen, good or bad, it's more like, eh, I don't care. Okay? Normals, it depends. I'm a normal. Okay? All right, so let's look at the element mix. Now, as I said, uh, this person starts off in fire. And they are at 28%. Now, fire, uh, if that's where you start off, that represents you. And it also represents your friends slash enemies. Now, 28% is pretty big. It's not as big as the next one, but we'll get to that. Okay? You always want to look at these in comparative ways. Okay? Well, um, given this, I'm willing to bet that a lot of the drama that comes up for this person is going to stem around friends. Um, I'm willing to bet, like in high school, college, there was quite a bit of betrayal. Um, a lot of broken hearts here and there, both lovers and friends and family. Uh, would have been rather complicated, okay? Now, we move into uh, expression, which is made out of earth for this person, okay? This is what you do uh, as in making things. This is work, uh, this is art, this is children, this is food, all of that, okay? Anything that you do that you create is expression. And at 48%, holy buckets, you can make some stuff, my friend. Woof! Okay? Uh, the problem is, it is almost double uh, your base element, which means you're going to be kind of held to whether or not you can whether or not you can produce things. Okay, I'm willing to bet that one because you're fire based, and two because of the amount of fire you have in your chart, along with the trinity of fire coming in. Your job is going to be very vested in travel, or very vested in something like hospitality, um, service of some kind, um, working as like a really cool bartender, uh, or running like a tour company, um, maybe like a hotel concierge, something like that, something that requires you to be in the presence of someone, that requires you to make them happy, um, that's going to be very, very easy for you to do. You're going to probably really like that. Uh, I would also kind of expect an actor to be here, or a singer of some kind. Um, given the amount of expression you have, that is your life. It is what you do. Uh, you wake up every morning and off you go, okay? Um, travel, again, would also be very, very big. Uh, and you really wouldn't do a lot with free time, okay? However, let's move into the next bit, okay? Moving into metal, we have wealth. And this is a drop. It's down at 11%. Now, that, now wealth is what you get to keep, okay? So, you're working 50, 60 hours a week. You are A, making next to nothing. Or B, you're making a ton of money, but it's disappearing because of debt. Uh, it's disappearing because you like to drink it or eat it. Um... You buy shiny things and they're gone. You're frittering away on pleasurable company, things like that. Okay? You don't get to keep much. So, my recommendation for you if you have a wealth level that is less than half of what you are, uh, you may want to get in touch with someone who can help you control your money who can help you build for the future, stuff like that, okay? The good news is, um, 
wealth is A, not that important to you, or B, if it is important, you do technically have a control of it, you're just not getting it very fast. I have that problem myself. Okay? All right. Uh, moving into water, water represents power, and this is how you respond to other people. Now, you're sitting at a measly 2%, okay? It's actually kind of sad in that regard. Um, what this is going to do is you're probably pretty easy to get along with, which works with a fire type person. Um, you're probably very amiable. Um, I wouldn't expect uh, if you are under the command of someone uh, to you to be that upset. Let's say, let's say you're a singer. Uh, your manager is pretty much going to run your life. And if you've got a good manager, you don't have to worry about anything. Life is fine. Just go out there, sing the songs, everybody's happy. Okay, if you've got a, not a good manager, well, you're going to get taken for a ride. Okay, and the problem is you'll never see it coming. If, however, you're on top, um, very kind of hands-off boss... Uh, your crew will be loyal to you because they like you as a person. But they won't be loyal to you because of, yes sir, okay? It's not going to be like that. Um, you're going to be more of a friend than a boss, okay? Uh, lastly, we've got uh, what's called resource, and this is sitting in wood. You're at 11%, and resource represents what you get from your family. Uh, this is uh, what your parents taught you. This is the traditions you love. This is, uh, you know, my great-great-great-great-granddaddy came over on whatever ship during whatever century. Okay, and we then, you know, had this farm thing. Okay, all of that. At 11%, it's there. You're not exactly the traditional type of person, but, you know... Something nice like, say, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, you'll have something that has traveled through the generations, but you're going to be a little bit more keen on making your own stuff. Uh, you may have, like, a common religion that a lot of people practice, but I wouldn't exactly call you orthodox in it. Uh, you know, you... As, uh, let's say you're Catholic, you'd be what's called a C and E. That's a Christmas and Easter type. You're not exactly a devout practi uh, uh, practitioner of the religion. Um, so on and so forth in that regard. Okay. Um, so again, that makes you a very weak fire person. I've already explained that. Uh, moving on to empty and void branches. Now, I've already done a video on empty branches. Um... It's a time of dormancy. It's also a time period when good becomes bad and bad becomes good. Things do not behave the way they should behave. And life gets uh, complicated. Okay. Now the good news is you don't have any of these in your base chart. So you don't have any major karmic things you got to deal with. And that's a whole other kettle. So uh, your empties are monkey and rooster. So when monkey and rooster come around, uh, things kind of go a little twisted for you. Um, your charisma falls apart. Uh, or everything that you say uh, that should be taken a given way, people take it wrong. It's just kind of, that's the way it is. It's kind of annoying. Uh, fights are going to be a little bit more common here. And you're also going to have a lot more trouble making money. And that's just kind of how it is. Now, I'm saying this uh, because monkey and rooster are based in metal. Okay? So, anything pertaining to metal to you will get strongly affected during these time periods. Okay? So, it's going to impact uh, how you can generate and maintain wealth. And depending on what of five versions comes up will depend on what the secondary effect is. So let's say you get an earth monkey coming in. Work's going to suck, and you're not going to make a whole lot of money that year. Okay? Just the way it is. Uh, if fire monkey comes up, 
then I would expect there to be some kind of health issue that crops in. Uh, there's go um, that's because fire impacts you. Okay, it's going to be kind of expensive. This may be you know like a quick cancer diagnosis or something scary like that. The good news is in all empty and void um, branches, whatever happens during that time period disappears at the end. So, <laughs> okay, all right, moving on. Okay, let's go to the 10-year cycle, which you are actually just about to finish up with. Uh, currently, currently, you are in a 10-year cycle that was empty, which is probably one of the reasons why you tap me on the shoulder and says, hey, can you do this for me, dude? Uh, problem is, you're about to start another one, too. <laughs> um, right now, you are under the effect of the water monkey. So, like I said, okay. Um, work's going to be a big issue for you. Uh, according to this, you're going to be traveling a lot because of the effect of monkey and tiger together. Um, monkey is impacting your wealth, which means you're probably traveling on your own dime. You're most likely not making a whole lot, or if you are, it's disappearing and going into expenses. Uh, given that it's in water, um, this is not something that you want to do. It is something you have to do. You don't have a choice. Too bad. Okay. Uh, coming up, uh, starting in 23, will be, which is uh, your birthday next year, by the way, will be Water Rooster. Uh, it's going to be very, very comparable. Um, you've got two-thirds of the Metal Trinity coming up. I don't remember what the other piece is. Uh, it's built with rooster and ox. I can't remember the other one, so that'll come on in the year. So it will double impact metal for you, okay? Which is annoying. It, um, given that it's also water, this is still a power issue. So I'm willing to bet in about the next 10 years or so, your travel should calm down but you are going to be unbelievably busy whether you like it or not. Or not at all. Sorry, dude. Okay. Okay, uh, afterwards, uh, moving into 2033, uh, the Wood Dog comes in. And this is actually going to be a pretty, uh, pretty interesting time period for you. Uh, you're going to be going through what's called a STEM transformation. I believe I did a video on STEM transformations. Uh, what's going to happen is half of your amount of wood and half of your earth is going to combine and go into more earth. So remember what I said about being busy. You're going to be even more busy. Now, dog and horse and tiger will come together and reinforce trinity of fire. Uh, and, uh, whoa, that's an awesome song. I'd do, I'd do that. Now, um... You will also have two dogs coming in, a uh, dog and a tiger coming in, and dog and ox. So it's going to reinforce um, your uh, conflict in, in the world. So keep your head. Somebody calls you a name. Don't punch them. Okay? But you also got double artistic stars coming in, thanks to your two dogs and dog and tiger working together. Now, technically, you already had artistic stars, but they were separated far enough apart that it wasn't that strong. Now it's going to go oomphy, okay? So let's say you're a singer, you're an actor, um, something along those lines. Uh, you're going to be booking a lot, okay? If you're working in hospitality, um, let's say you work in a hotel, I'm willing to bet you're going to be living there. And the only time off you have is basically to sleep and eat. And the art of it is you are going to be processing a lot of the negative influences that you had from the previous 20 years. And you're going to be, at least you'll have the capacity to do it, of turning it into something beautiful. Now, I did a video called How to Transmit Negative Emotions and uh, Memories. This is where that comes up. Artistic Stars gives you the perfect chance to do this. So, if you're, I'm leaning that you're a performer based on what I'm saying here. Um, so, I will look for you on the marquee at this point, okay? 
Uh, it's going to be 11 years from now. It's a long road to the top to quote ACDC. And you have a good possibility of becoming famous here. Okay, It's going to almost kill you, but you could do it. Okay, That's my two cents on that matter. All right. Now, um, afterwards, you hit the wood pig, which is, um, depending on what you do during wood dog, um, this will be after 2043, uh, you'll get three shot in loneliness, but you also get uh, three combinations. Okay. Um, three shot is, again, bad luck just follows you, but six combinations is the exact opposite. Okay, so a lot of what will happen is you'll get an awesome booking. Um, let's say you release an album, and it goes double platinum, like, overnight, okay? Um, by the way, you're also an alcoholic. It's stuff like that, okay? Uh, loneliness does not mean what you think it means. It means you're a lot more self-sufficient. It means that you don't need anybody to help you. I've got that in my chart. Um, you'll see it a lot with introverts. Uh, you'll see it a lot with people that don't have a lot of free time. They desire that free time, that alone time. Okay, And one of the things that they do if they don't get it regularly is they will often push people away, um, just like, you know, if you're petting your cat or your dog too much. They're like, would you give me five minutes? Okay, it's like that. It's not exactly bad, but, you know, okay. So in 2053, um, kind of more of the same, only instead of loneliness, you get um, Clash of Opposites with the uh, Fire Rat coming in, okay? So chances are here you're going to meet someone that is just totally different from you, or this will double back into you because of the uh, inherent fire aspect here, okay? And hopefully you don't self-destruct, but you still got you still got six combinations. You also got three Shaw coming in, and it just kind of depends on which one you decide to side with, okay? Now this is where the concept of karma comes in, okay? So everything builds on itself, okay? So if we go back in time to right about now, during your empty branch, if you're a good person, okay, you acted humbly, you were respectful, um, you didn't attack people, a lot of these negative influences that I'm seeing coming up in these 10-year cycles uh, will actually be very much so diminished. They may even reverse and become good. Okay. Meanwhile, if you're a total jerk, then the good stuff will diminish and the bad stuff will increase. It's just the way things happen. Okay. Um, moving into 2063, you've got the fire ox coming in, and that's just going to double up on the, fo on the ox stuff that I already told you about. 2073, you've got earth tiger. That just doubles up. More trinity of fire stuff. And there we go. Now... Uh, here in 2022, uh, because we are in Water Tiger, um, you kind of got a lot going on. Uh, it does complete Trinity of Fire, and because of the monkey you're currently in, again, um, a lot of traveling. This is a very, very eventful year for you. Hooray. Now, next year, things get kind of interesting. Okay, Water Rabbit will be coming in. Uh, you've got six combinations, Flower of Romance twice, uh, Good Partner, and uh, Clash of Opposites. Okay, That's because of the rooster influence. Uh, rabbit and rooster don't get along. Okay, So, um, it's going to be kind of a big year. Okay, Good Partner uh, happens to do with business, such as, you know, again, I'm leaning you're some kind of performer. Um, this is probably going to be one of your first record deals, okay? I'm assuming a couple of things here again, but that's that's what my instincts are telling me, okay? And I think it's going to go gangbusters for you, okay? Uh, with the six combinations. You will also probably meet someone 
uh, if you haven't already, okay, you're going to fall head over heels, okay? Uh, whether or not this person is good, that's different, okay? This could and this could turn to marriage, uh, or this could just be, you know, that one lover that, oh, you're going to write stories, songs, ballads, uh, paint pictures, stuff like that about, okay? But you do have to remember, this is in an empty branch session, so tread lightly, okay? Don't let your, um, don't let your heart rule your mind, and don't let your giblets rule your mind either, okay? All I'm saying. Okay, now, um, in 2024, we get the wood dragon coming in. I'm actually kind of excited about this year myself. Uh, you will be hitting a stem transformation. It's basically, I've already explained that, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, dragon and dog will come together. Uh, there will be a fight, but uh, the dragon will also influence your empty rooster, and you're going to get six combinations. So, um, this will probably be kind of a tail to the uh, next year, in that the thing that you're going to be doing, whatever it may be, assuming you actually do it, um, the dark side's going to come out uh, the following year on that. Uh, as it often does for you, I'm afraid. Okay, So make sure you dot your I's, cross your T's, have somebody you trust read over any contracts you're signing, and be very, very smart about what you do and who you do it with, okay? Um, Dragon's going to be a surprisingly complicated year. Now, because of the stem transformation, this will permanent... All, all stem, I didn't tell you this. All stem transformations change uh, your personality forever, okay? It's just the way it is. I'm in the middle of one right now. Actually, I'm almost done, I think, okay? Got a ton of fire. <laughs> I just got warmed up a little while ago. <laughs> now, all of that earth coming in, again, you're going to be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Okay? Um, just be smart. Okay? Now, afterwards, when the wood snake comes in the following year, uh, the trinity of metal comes in. So, uh, the snake completes that. That answers that question. I don't have them memorized. Okay? Uh, which I think would be a fan fantastic album title, okay? Uh, go ahead and kick that around. Use this video. Yeah. You'll like it, okay? Um, which means a lot of metal is going to be coming in, so uh, whatever it is that you did in the previous two years, this is where you're going to get the payoff, assuming you survive the negative impacts, okay? Uh, there will also be Hidden Clash coming in, thanks to Snake and Dog. Hidden Clash is, if I were to just meet you and look at you, you're doing fine, okay? You're in a great mood, everybody's happy. Uh, I would never know that you cry yourself to sleep at night. Um, I would never know that your relationship is falling apart at the seams, okay? So on and so forth. That's Hidden Clash, okay? Um, so there may be some uh, rocks coming in. Uh, just make sure you got a, a good mental health counselor. Don't find solace in the bo in the bottle or the needle, please, and trust me. Okay? You also have a good partner coming in, thanks to Snake and Horse pairing up. So, um, there's going to be something really cool that's going to happen for you, business-wise, assuming. Okay? Uh, that's just what I'm seeing. Um, following year, Fire Horse rolls in, which is the natural element for the horse. And Trinity of Fire comes up, however, two horses create the self-penalty. So if you do not deal with the hidden clash in Snake, um, you're going to go this, you're going to prop, you might even go crazy during horse, okay? So again, my recommendation, make sure you have good mental health counselor, okay? Very important. Make sure you get one. Find one now if you can. Please and thank you. Okay? All right. So, Fire Sheep rolls in the following year. Um, Going to be a complicated year. You've got three penalties, conflict, loneliness. already explained all of that. You've also got six combinations in Clash. Um, so, this is likely going to be 
um, started sometime during snake and will probably halfway sort of mature during horse, but it's really going to come to a head the following year during sheep. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Earth monkey comes in. Uh, again, another void branch. We've already talked about that. It's just going to reinforce everything that you have right now, only it's going to be kind of a sequel because you're also in rooster. Okay. It's, it's annoying. It, it, Earth Monkey, just keep your head down, okay? Um, again, let's say you're a singer. Maybe take the year off. Enjoy the money. Relax, okay? Just, please, just, just relax, okay? Uh, same thing the following year. Um, you've got uh, step, uh, let's see here, Earth and Water will turn to Fire in 2028. However, you also get earth and wood turning to earth in 2029. So, rocky couple of years. They're also um, void branches. So, oi. Okay? I've already talked about all of that. Uh, by the way, two roosters create self-penalty. So, that's going to be a hard year, dude. Okay? I feel sorry for you. Uh, however, the dog, uh, metal dog rolls in, and you should be able to recoup a lot of your losses. Um, again, let's say you are a singer, performer of some kind. Uh, Trinity of Fire um, will be coming up. Uh, you get double artistic stars, double conflict. So a lot of the issues that you had the previous two years, you will be able to put into your work it's going to be freaking gorgeous, okay? Now, uh, as I said before, I made some assumptions that uh, you were some sort of performer. I could easily be wrong, okay? Uh, I would recommend, if you're not, maybe getting into it, okay? Uh, I'm leaning you've already figured this out, though, because you've come across the dog a few times by now at least once. So I'm willing to bet whatever bug has already bitten you and you're already invested. So I would build on that if I were you. Um, you're made for it. I'm willing to bet you are unbelievably talented and you could have the potential to go solo. Okay, Those are my assumptions. Uh, I would however highly advise that you learn how to keep a cool head, okay? Uh, learn a virtue called humility. Uh, I've had to learn it multiple times in multiple different ways. I, I work in medicine. You don't want somebody in medicine with a very, very soft ego. You want them with a good, strong ego, but they also have to have the humility to back that up and recognize when they're wrong, recognize when they're being a jerk, okay? I've had to learn that many times, and I suspect that you do as well, okay? Uh, I would also advise you to pay very, very close attention to the people you let in your life. Um, friends are not always friends, and enemies are not always enemies. Okay, make sure you keep an eye on everyone involved. Okay, especially uh, if you are to become famous and rich. Okay, these are two very different things. All right, well, um, I hope that answers all your questions that you had for me when you uh, gave me your birthday. Uh, again, uh, if you need anything, please let me know. Guys, if you would like this sort of treatment done for you, uh, go, ahead and set, uh, go ahead and shoot a comment on this video and uh, give me your birthday. Um, I do need year, month, day, and hour so that I can create the chart accurately. And um, I won't be announcing your name. I will just tell you, hey, it's up. Okay. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to help me out, um, well, I got rid of my Patreon, so never mind on that. I'm working on getting something new. We'll see. Okay. Uh, you can also check me out on Amazon. I've actually got three books uh, that are up. Uh, hopefully I'll have a fourth uh, by the end of summer or fall, 
It's um, in preparation to be illustrated right now. It's going to be a book of lore uh, pertaining to my novel that I wrote called The Hidden Rice. It's about the Fae. I think you'll dig it. Uh, go ahead and check all that out, all right? So I'll be back later with something else. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.